Welcome, Fling friends, to our new series, Burn Upon Arrival. In upcoming episodes, we will show you our history with going to Burning Man. Also, that we've created a large scale entertainment camp, as well as some tips and hacks and suggestions so that if you decide to venture out onto the playa, you might be a little bit more informed. Another reason for this video series is due to our current socio-economical environment. Without getting into a political landscape discussion, let's just say that we are all suffering financially, whether it's at the gas pumps or inflation reasons. These episodes will give us the ability to continue to create content for you to enjoy. When we find the time and the finances to travel again, we will continue to create content that you've come to enjoy with our channel. We ask that you continue to support us with sharing our content with your friends. If you are not currently subscribed, please consider taking a moment to punch that red subscription button as well as the notification bell icon so that you can be alerted every time that we put out new content. And if you want to reach out to us, please leave a comment below and we will respond to everyone. Without your help, we fail. We know that you have so many other options of viewing and just the fact that you're here, we are so honored. So without further ado, let's get burning. What is Burning Man? We could show you every picture and every video that we have and that would not even scratch the surface. It's really something that you have to experience and actually live yourself to understand. It's a bit difficult to quantify exactly what it is because it means something different for every person. Some people see it as a music festival, others as a big desert party, and to others a utopian experience. None of these above are wrong, but or right for that matter. It's really what you make of it. We are waiting in line for gas. Have been for quite some time. The first step is understanding what the founders built is to understand the 10 principles of Burning Man. The 10 principles aren't a mantra or a law or anything aside from common sense guidelines of, of being a good person in the world. To us, they don't override our own morals or principles as most of these principles were already taught to us as children. Sadly, <laughs> maybe they haven't been taught as much to our younger generations. So throughout this video series, we will go over each of the principles as it pertains to our own experiences. Scott and I have been involved in the music industry off and on for a couple of decades or more. Over those years, we've had many friends and acquaintances invite us to Burning Man and say, oh, you know, you'd love it. But we never really had the opportunity until 2014. That was our first year to be able to go. We had purchased a low mileage 31 foot RV that we gutted and completely rebuilt the interior in about a three month period of time. And when I say we gutted and rebuilt, of course, I mean Scott, that amazing guy, rebuilt this RV in such a short period of time. And I did have a help with the decorating. One thing that if you don't already know about Scott is that he is a planner and a master preparer. If we ever start anything new, he explores every detail of it finding out everything about it before we take our first step towards it. So with that said, we watched all the videos we could 
about Burning Man. We got on chat groups and talked to people and we wanted to know all of the principles and learned all the, we wanted to know all the lingo and the culture around the event before we went. We also had the great advantage of having a good friend whose name, well, her name is Candace, but her nickname is Echo. And she came with us and was our Playa, Playa Sherpa. We didn't realize it, but that ended up making us what's called Ninja Burners. Now we are not going to go into the history of the event as there are numerous videos that you can find on the subject. We want to help share our understanding of the event. So we're going to focus on our history with it. So in 2014 was our first year there. There were approximately 65,000 people that arrived in Black Rock City. And that makes it the third largest Nevada city for that one week in the year. We arrived on a Sunday, which proved to be a very fortunate move on our part because the very next day there was an early morning rain that hit the city and it closed down everything <laughs> because it's, it's, well, it was a, it's a dry uh, salt lake bed and then you add water and it just becomes a muddy mess. And there were thousands of people stranded at the gates. Now, because we were free campers, we drove around to find a spot. Now, we had no clue that there was a place labeled uh, the Burbs. That's where all the free campers go, basically. It's kind of like the back nine, so to speak. We ended up finding a spot at 930 and C as our home for the nine days. Uh, while we're at it, let's go ahead and take a look at the map of the Black Rock City. As you can see, there are streets and there are avenues. Each street is set up as a position on the clock. The avenues represent a letter of the alphabet or a corresponding theme name for, for the year. Now for 2014, the theme was Caravanersary. Now I'm not gonna go over the reason for the themes uh, and I'll just put a link down below so that you can see for yourself. Each year has a specific theme. As you can see, in our videos and photos, there is so much to see. We were there a total of nine days, and in that time we slept a total of about 19 hours. We thought we were traveling the whole map. We stopped at as many camps as possible. We climbed and admired as much art as we could find. And then when we got back, we started to watch other videos that we didn't even come close to seeing everything that was out there. I'm going to, or at least try to give you a just a snapshot of what we experienced. One of the first things that stood out to us was the hospitality that the other participants showed us uh, upon arrival. Even if it was just for a week, it is refreshing to be around that kind of energy. Secondly, the creativity of those that not only create the artwork, the music, the food, but those who attend the event. You can see the beauty that comes from everyone's mind. The effort to not only build the art, the camps, the costumes, the bikes, but the teamwork to transport it all and build, is, it's just mind blowing. This brings us to our first principle of Burning Man, as we will tell you, radical self-expression. Some things that take a little getting used to is 
the absolute 24-7 activity. The constant bass sound of the music that you can hear everywhere, except for maybe like on the extremes of deep playa or in the back nine, there might be a, a few minutes where you're not hearing the bass, 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 bump, bump, bump. <laughs> um, it may seem like a nightmare to some people, but it actually turns into kind of like a white noise after a few days. The heat during the day can also be stifling at times. Also, the chilly nights, it can fall into the 30s at night. But all in all, you just got to be prepared for everything, right? Now, the alkaline powder or dust, it gets into every crack on the human body. Me being a kind of a clean freak, that really bothered me for the first few days and I was had baby wipes everywhere and I was just trying to wipe myself off with baby wipes all day every day. But after about three days, it just like, I don't know, it didn't bother me anymore. What you don't get used to or what we never got used to was the wind. It's not always bad, but when it's bad, it's really bad. <laughs> and also the struggle to stay hydrated. So after we survived our first burn and we started on our trip home, still riding on the high of the, this incredible experience, is when we actually first came up with our idea of our own camp. And that's it for this episode. We thank you so much for spending time with us. Please join us next time when we take you on our second burn in the beginning of our camp. If you could please subscribe and share, we would be so grateful. We love you all, and we look forward to seeing you again very soon, where we find our way in every adventure. Bye.